Um, so we're grateful to have Misha and Melanie and their family here for almost a month. And we just see the providence of God bringing them here at this time, that they could go to the funeral for Denise, um, for Kathy's sister, and um, that they could just be here with us. And they've been such a blessing and encouragement um, to us. And I, I love the spiritual life and strength that this brother brings to to the church. Um, but we wanted to talk about something I brought up to him, um, the, the, the idea of um, putting in two ADA bathrooms and ADA means handicap access bathrooms here right off the sanctuary where we have these two closets over here. And we were just talking about that. And um, that's kind of my next vision for the church. I think it's from the Lord to do that for uh, people that come that, that need that kind of access and just as a blessing for the body in general. And so um, I wanted to talk to Misha about it because he knows about these kinds of things. And um, uh, how is the setup right now in the church for you? Is it really great? I mean, going down the hall to those, those little kids' bathrooms? Well, it's um, <laughs> a little bit inconvenient, to say the least, but uh, we, we make it work. Well, we appreciate that you, 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 you still come. You don't say, oh, the bathroom situation is inconvenient, and you still come. But we want to we wanna have a situation. We want to make a situation that's a blessing for you and for others that come uh, that need special access. So um, you want to talk to us a little bit about that? Sure. I mean, it's, it's a practical need. You know, um, when I first came into this congregation a year ago, it wasn't um, the amazing preaching that I really remember. Or it wasn't the delicious coffee. It was the warm hug you gave me. You came up to me and says, Misha, it's so good to see you. And we hadn't seen each other for, you know, quite some time because uh, Pastor Aaron and, and Denise served cake at our wedding. And that's how I remembered you, the man who served the cake at our wedding. And uh, you gave me a warm hug. And so I'm sure that's the same for the rest of you. It's not the color of the carpet or the, the lights that drew you in. It was the love of the family. And so, and, you know, each family has practical needs. And being in a wheelchair for tw 25 years now, you know, there's practical needs that are very tangible. And, and that being a, one of them is as a wheelchair accessible washroom. And uh, Pastor Aaron and I were talking over coffee and he brought this up and, and I thought, you know, what a great opportunity to just bring awareness to that need. And, uh, I'd like to just invite you all to consider uh, doing something, uh, whether pitching in volunteer effort or pitching in some money or maybe say, hey, Pastor Aaron, you know, plywood's on sale or tile is uh, going on clearance or whatever. To work together as a community to make something special so that people with mobility needs that come would feel welcomed and loved and their needs accommodated. Amen. Um, that's beautiful. And I, I really am kind of hurt that you didn't come. You didn't come because of the great preaching, though. <laughs> no, this is what we're about, is the body loving the body. And we can pray that the preaching improves. But <laughs> the, um, we, we are, I just want you to become aware of this need. We're going to be just making you aware of it and asking you to give as the Holy Spirit leads you. Um, I believe if we were to do this, if I was to hire a commercial contractor to, to um, break up the concrete, there's concrete that needs to be broken up and do the build out and provide the tile and the, the fixtures and the stalls and the painting and everything, the plumbing, the electrical. My guess as a contractor is that it would be about $100,000 for two bathrooms, maybe $110,000. Uh, con construction's expensive. My thought is that we could do it um, with our own labor and our, my, my own experience and, and, and help of other people pitching in and some, we are going to have to pay some skilled trades. We're going to have to pay the plumber. We're going to have to pay, pay the electrician. But um, my thought is that we could probably do it for about 35000 So 35000 it seems like a lot of money, um, but compared to $110,000, it's, it's a very good deal. And we are in the unique p position with my contracting skills to be able to do that. And with your uh, volunteer help, uh, that makes a big difference as well. 
So uh, we did a tremendous amount of, uh, of work in the last year on this building, uh, refinished this in here, uh, the outside, the front, the roof, um, the, the landscaping, the fence. I mean, there's just too many projects to name that, that we were able to accomplish with your help and the grace of God. So praise the Lord for that. Um, but I just want you to know that we are going to be, uh, we're probably not going to bring this up every week or anything, but it's just something that if you pray about this, and I'll bring it up occasionally, we're going to just pray about it, and we're going to start collecting for it as a separate offering um, so that we can start putting away some money to do this. And pray for us for the timing of this, too, because timing is, is important, and God cares about the details. Do you have anything else that you'd like to say? Any special requests? Well, my wife and I, we spoke about this together, and we realized, you know, we want to do something as well. So, and um, God willing, we'll be back in the spring to visit again, and uh, look forward to hearing about the progress. Amen. Praise God. Love you, brother.